Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rachar Hadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations, and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. For the new listeners, Yahweh is the true Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true Hebrew name of his only begotten son. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago, and I want to hop into something quick. All right, going into pretty much, if, you know, the kingdom of heaven is for everyone, then why are there going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven? If God loves everybody, why in the kingdom of heaven is there going to be slaves? Why is there going to be servants? Okay, because here it is, the children of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we built up everybody else's kingdom. For the most part, we were captives under all nations. But now when it's our turn to rule, what, we got to build up our own kingdom? All right, absolutely not. Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and will set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the heavenly father, all right, is going to have mercy on the children of Israel. And the strangers are the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who are going to cleave on to the ones who know they're Israelites, okay? Because that's who they're going to learn from. All right, verse two, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. All right, and the people was talking about these heathen nations. We're going to take them to our place, the, our, our homeland, Israel, our Jerusalem. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, slave men, slave women, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So the ones who had us in slavery, which was all nations, we're going to put them into slavery, and we're going to rule over our oppressors, mainly Esau, Edom. He was our number one oppressor, right? So we're going to, we're going to rule over them. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall, I, shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So, all these nations that devoured us, they're going to be devoured. All our adversaries, when you read in the book of Psalms, it talks about the nations were confederate and it names the nations all right starting off with esau edom uh for the most part all nations were confederate among each other to do what to try to destroy us from being a nation so the name of israel won't be remembered okay they were our adversaries it says every one of them shall what go into captivity they're going to go into slavery all right, for what? For what they have done to the children of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And they shall, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So they spoiled us. They took our goods. They raped, robbed, murdered us. It's going to happen to them, but this time it's going to be done in righteousness. Okay, they prayed upon us. We're going to pray upon them. Thus saith the Bible. This is Psalms 149. We're going to read the whole chapter. Praise ye Yahweh. Sing unto Yahweh a new song and his praise in the congregation of his saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For Yahweh have taken pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. 
and let them sing along, sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all the saints praise Yahweh. so this is going to be an honor to the saints all right and the saints have been patiently or have been suffer, suff, suffering waiting to put the ones in slavery who have them in slavery okay to do what to execute vengeance upon the heathen all right and what's the vengeance we're reading it they're going into slavery they prayed upon us we're going to pray on them they spoiled us we're going to spoil them all right we're going to put them in captivity all our adversaries etc okay to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron so the higher ups you know the uh the the, the elite you call them the rich elite all right and and their little nobles you know their little follow their uh the ones under them they're going to get put into chains fetters of iron just like we were but it's going to be it's going to be their turn all right because the heavenly father is a just god he is a just judge he does justice so it'll only be fair for them to go into slavery to execute upon them the judgment written and that's an honor okay this is one of my favorite scriptures revelations 13 and 10 he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity again all nations had the israelites in slavery okay one way or another all right so now it's only going to be fair it's going to be a uh, justice for us to do it to them he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword all right it's starting off with esau edom which is blessing is the sword all right we're gonna we're gonna uh, do unto uh you what you done unto us going back to the law eye for an eye two for a two strife for a strike burning for burning all right life for life okay that's justice here is the patience and the faith of the saints right and this is what the saints are patiently waiting for okay they're waiting to put you heathens into slavery for what you had done to us let me see i'm gonna grab this one um I think this is in uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 60 and 10. And the sons of strangers, talking about the heathens, shall build up thy walls. Right. Because we're not going to build the kingdom up. They're going to build it up. All right. When when a people are in rulership, they rule. They have s s uh, servants that are under them and, and they are going to get orders of what to do and one of their orders is going to be to hey, build up our walls, build up our kingdom, just like we did to yours. And their king shall minister unto thee, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. All right. So they're going to build up our stuff. I'm going to grab one more. All right. This is Revelations 2. And 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, all right, enduring to the end, being faithful, being sincere, okay, serving Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, no matter what comes our way, all right, that's overcoming. It says what? To him will I give power over the nations. So <laughs> the ones who are going to receive salvation we're going to endure to the end they're going to have power over the nations all right going starting mainly with yahweh shai on down the who to the elect the rest of the nation of israel okay we're all going to have you heathens in slavery and he shall rule them with the rod of iron all right we're going to rule these heathens with the rod of iron all right if you don't do what we tell you to do that's your ass as the vessel of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received in my father. 
like it says in Romans 8. Okay, it says that we are the children of the Most High, you know, through the Spirit. And we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, meaning the blessing Yahweh Shai is going to get, he's going to share it with his elect, with, all right, with the, with the men who um, were chosen, okay, to rule with him, okay? We're going to be joint heirs, Yahweh willing, we're those men. And we get to rule over these heathens with Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh willing, that was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.